Jack excitedly carries his computer to the desk, sending it down in the rightful place where it belongs. He fiddles with the cords, plugging everything in and preparing it for use. Finally, I can get back to playing games with the guys again. We're going to have so much catching up to do. He inserts the final piece, the power supply cable, and immediately hits the switch. The lights inside the case fade in, the fans begin to whir, and an oddly chilled air exhausts from the vents in front as the PC comes to life once more. Oh, my sweet beauty, I've missed you so much. I thought it'd be forever before you were fixed. Just as all seems to be going well, Jack is greeted by an odd visual on the screen. The usual startup image does not appear, but in fact has been replaced with an eerie, blurred, and distorted picture. He squints in an attempt to view it. As his eyes focus, the faint outline of a semi-transparent human forms among the dark blackness. Holding its hands tightly to the temples of its head, the figure appears to be screaming. The image quickly cuts to the normal boot screen, leaving Jack confused and concerned. What? What the hell was that? That couldn't be real. No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Jack slumps in his chair while the computer finishes booting up. Luckily, without any other strange occurrences. The unsettling image that greeted him still sits heavily in his mind, even though he tries to shake it off. Oh, this is a prank. Very funny. See if I ever take my PC into your shop again around October, you jerks. Jack looks at the casing of the PC, noticing another issue now. The sidewall seems to have become covered in a layer of thick dust, Somehow, so suddenly, he reaches forward to wipe at it with a single finger, feeling a damp, frozen wetness upon his fingertip. Frost? But, but how the hell? He clambers to look at the invoice, checking to see what sort of maintenance was done and what parts were replaced. Replaced OS drive, replaced secondary drive, inspection fee, maintenance to software, OS fresh install. They didn't do anything to the cooling. How can there be frost? Jack notices the frost growing worse. Icy crystals beginning to form along the dampened areas. And spreading rapidly among other areas of the case. Fearing how dangerous such temperatures could be for the hardware, he races to shut it off. No, 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 this is insane. What did they do to you? If this is part of some elaborate scheme to get more work out of me, they're gonna regret this. Jack clicks the shutdown button, waiting all too patiently for the computer to process the request. His patience is met with an error message simply reading, Please help us. He clicks rapidly to try and clear the disturbing text. But the screen washes out and stops responding, the cursor stuck in the loading symbol. Oh god, no no, ah, please no, god damn it. Fed up with his own patience, Jack holds the power button down to force a shutdown process. The lights dim, the whir of the fans fade away, and all goes silent. He lets out a sigh of relief mentally preparing himself to drag the entire PC back to the repair shop. Great. Just great. Here we go again. Thanks a lot, System Solutions. They're gonna fix this now. Jack rapidly unplugs everything yet again, speeding out to his car with the PC in tow. He sets off to the outlet where the repair store is. The sun is slowly setting. A vibrant orange hue of dusk cascading across the town. I need to hurry before they close. After a brief bit of travel, Jack arrives at a surprisingly empty parking lot. He pulls into a free spot and clambers out of the car with a look of shock drawn upon his face. Wait, wait a second. 
He scans the area, looking at every business along the strip of buildings, but not seeing System Solutions sign anywhere among them. This is exactly where the place was. How? Everything okay there, oh. son? Oh. Hello. You're looking like you're a bit lost, friend. Need some help? Uh, I guess I do. I'm looking for System Solutions. System Solutions? Yes, the computer repair store. The old stranger cocks his head in a confused and curious manner. He raises an eyebrow at Jack's mention. The old computer repair store? Son, that store hasn't been around for ages. What are you talking about? I was just there this morning. <laughs> oh, sure, sure. I'm sure you were. I'm being serious. This isn't funny. You're definitely quite the character, my friend. I'm telling you, that shop closed after the... Well, after the murder. M murder? When? It was some ages ago, but I remember like it was yesterday. The newspaper had an article about some poor soul who was stabbed to death right at the front counter. Huh. <sighs> they had to close down after that. But... How can this be? You'd best forget about that place now, son. Folks don't go there anymore. They say the spirits of the victim and the killer roam among it, looking for something. Nobody knows what. Jack slowly climbs back into his vehicle with wide eyes. The stranger saunters off, disappearing into a quickly darkening landscape. Jack looks at the computer buckled in the front seat with a cocked gaze. One of the front fans slowly rotates by itself the swishes of air coming through the grate, gently whispering to him.